Greetings and salutations. It's I, some prick, Patrick Ferguson, a.k.a. the Captain, and welcome to another Clock Tower Equity. <laughs> Tonight, I'm talking about old people. Yeah, that's the name of the film, Old People, on Netflix. Now, I saw a glimpse of this, a little trailer, and I thought, well, let me describe uh, this to someone who may not get it. Um, old people are funny to me. And I don't mean it in a disrespectful way, just like, like in the way, uh, like the ravages of time make the human body uh, betray us. To, to see the human body fail. I mean, that's just a good time for everyone. Uh, 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 fucker. Uh, but, happily, not a tee-hee or a fucking ha-ha was heard from yours ghouly over here. Because this film was done very, very well. This is a fantastic little horror film. You want to talk about atmosphere. This is like jumping in a pool of just gothic morose, dark, uh, just very morbid sensibility, and I loved it. It was pretty damn good. Now, if you think some of the acting is bad in this, um, I will give a heads up that uh, you're wrong, because it just doesn't translate. Uh, this is a German dub, so, you know, there's going to be some awkwardness. Um, I, I picked that up right away when I saw the quick cuts where, like, there are sentences of dialogue and we were cutting so fucking fast back and forth from people. Hello, how are you doing? I'm very good. Oh, are you good? Yeah, I went to the store today. Oh, what did you do? Just a fucking cut every two seconds where I got, like, disoriented uh, for the first little bit. And it was actually starting to bug me, but, but... When the horror elements arise, the cinematography, the pacing, everything slows down a bit, and you really take in this just gothic atmosphere. Um, why this film is a little cheesy, I'll admit that. The, the, the overall message is a little cheesy. I do think it means well. There is definitely some commentary here about how we, as a society, uh, treat the elderly. You know, and we kind of just abandon them at these homes. Um, this, in my opinion, is a much better version of George Romero's The Crazies. And there's the dislikes. <laughs> uh, I know everyone uh, and their fucking grandmother says The Crazies, the original and the remake. They're so good. Didn't do jack shit for me and Jack left town. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, I, it's just George Romero zombie movies, you know, all the way up to the first couple, pretty damn good. Uh, George Romero's The Crazies, I thought the first one was barely a horror movie, and the second one was just kind of like cliche early 2000s at every turn. So, that kind of concept, but, you know, more focused on uh, elderly people. Um, this thing is gross, this thing is gory, this thing is dark, morbid, but it does have some light at the end of the fucking tunnel. There is a good message throughout. High body count. Uh, this is one of those films you really want to be able to immerse yourself in, to get the full experience of the horror. So, uh, turn the lights out. You know, I chose a perfect night. I don't know if you can hear in the background. Perhaps yes, perhaps not. But uh, it was a dark, rainy night. It was perfect for this kind of thing. So uh, if you can get a dark, rainy night, or even just, you know, all the lights out in your room, living room, what have you, uh, really just, you know, put, put the fucking phone down for a second. Let yourself immerse in the story. You're going to be uh, surprised, I think, how much this film will take you on a roller coaster of darkness. <laughs> I enjoyed it.
a a four tiny top hats out of the illustrious five pretty damn good keep it up netflix i'll watch some more dubs if that's the gimmick here you want to do more horror from uh other places around the world but you're nervous you know not everyone's gonna read the subtitles they're gonna go oh i just want to watch the visuals so i understand do the dubs i'm enjoying them i'm having fun and if one day people stop bitching and let themselves embrace some goddamn art, then we can do the subtitles. See you around.